and I'd set aside a day for prayer and fasting and trying to ask God, like, would you send revival to Raleigh, Durham? I mean, just the kind that would like, yeah. you know, the, that they in a hundred years from now, they'd write about it. And I, I don't have many, a whole lot of times where I feel like, you know, God's not speaking to me every day and, you know, writing things on the sky and, you know, speaking of my alphabet soup or whatever. But I, it was one of those moments where God spoke really, really clearly as loud as if it had been audible. And, and, and what the Holy Spirit said was like, it was like, all right, what if I say yes to that prayer? And what if I send a revival to the Triangle, the Raleigh-Durham area, the kind that will change the landscape of the city? But what if your church doesn't get any bigger? And what if I do the church down the road? What if their church gets bigger and their pastor gets famous and you never get a mention in the history books? Do you still want me to do it? Oh. Now, Carrie, I, I, I know the right answer. I know the right, yes, Lord, you must increase and I must decrease. I know that's the answer, but that that wouldn't have been the real answer. 